Hi, my name is Kula Orr, and this will be the first of five video tutorials on the standalone version of the program Whitecap, which is an audio visualizer. I will be working under the Windows 10 operating system, but I think most of the, these tutorials, most of the content will be applicable for other operating systems as well. So, what we will be covering is uh, basic usage, pretty lightly, but mostly how to customize and automate the program. Personally, I use it for uh, visualizations during live shows, meaning that the usual ways of customizing it, which is through clicking and working through the on-screen interfaces for selecting, for example, the color scheme. Let's say I select CRT style uh, and the wave shape. It has quite a lot of wave shapes that you can select from and backgrounds and of course a lot of other settings. Uh, all these ways of uh, selecting these and customizing them don't work well for me during shows because I don't want to be messing around with the mouse and also everything is projected on a large screen so it's really not very attractive to have all these menus. I want to have things switched and automated uh, for example through MIDI, MIDI signals that I send through my instruments or uh, key presses that I inject to the program. So I will show all these uh, but first of all we have to see where all these parameters are stored. So uh, um, the first place to look for all these settings for example uh, two settings that are very important are the graphics quality and the frame rate which pretty much determine the resource requirements of the program. You can, if you like, uh, make a few experiments, uh, tests with the task manager in Windows, um, play a certain clip, a certain audio clip, and uh, select different values for these. And with the task manager you can see how much memory and CPU the program requires and you will see that there is a really major difference if it's high, medium, or low and the frame rate. But let's take just one, uh, for example, parameter here and see how we can alter it. Audio response scale means the amplitude of the visualization uh, in relation to the audio signal. Right now you can see I'm talking and it's reacting nicely. If I drop the audio response scale to 0 0.12, there is hardly any response. Now, the way to control these parameters, if you don't want to do so through the online, through the on-screen, sorry, uh, menus, is through the preference file. The preference file can be found. You can look for it uh, through app data, preceded and superseded by a percent sign. Here you can see user app data roaming uh, sound spectrum white cap. Here is the preferences file. If you want to look for it manually or you're not with Windows 10, uh, you can search for it or you can go, usually it's under the hard drive, users, the current user, app data, roaming. And here you'll see Sound Spectrum, which is the company that makes white cap and white cap. I advise you, if you want to mess with it, make a backup copy first, and then you can edit it. It's a text file; it can be edited in any text editor, for example, Notepad. And you can see inside here there are quite a few parameters. The ones that we discussed, for example, are the Mm, audio response. Where is that? Audio response scale. It's defined as 10, meaning that if I, for example, let's close white cap and open it again, 
as I just open it, it will be on 10. Now, if I choose to change this value, for example, to 2 and save, there will be no difference here until the next time I open white cap. Now it will be 2. So, white cap, upon opening, read the preference file and sets all the parameters accordingly. I think that's it for the first tutorial. We'll be looking more in depth into the preference file and how to make modifications to it on the fly in the next tutorials. Thank you.